Would you like some guidance on entering your firm's financial statements into your Excel spreadsheet and then restating them? In this video, we will look at how we do this. You will find in the financial statements worksheets space for you to enter your firm's income statement, including a statement of comprehensive income if your firm has a separate one, and balance sheet. Carefully enter in each of these statements for your firm for the past four years. As you do this, you might find you need to enter in new rows to give you more space to include your firm's financial statements. You can do this by inserting some new rows. You can then format the new rows to keep the pattern of every second row shaded. I have entered the financial statements for Ryman Healthcare. You only need to enter in your firm's income statements, as well as statements of comprehensive income, and balance sheets. You do not need to enter your firm's statement of changes in equity or statement of cash flows. Your firm's financial statements may be called a range of different names, such as Consolidated Statement of Financial Position, which is your firm's balance sheet, and Consolidated Statement of Financial Performance, which is your firm's income statement. You also may have a separate income statement and statement of comprehensive income, or alternatively, a single statement of comprehensive income. Now go to the Restated Financial Statements tab in your firm's spreadsheet. This is where you'll input your firm's restated financial statements. You'll need to make sure you restate your firm's financial statements for the most recent four years. Restating your firm's financial statements simply involves you reorganising the way your firm's financial statements are set out. This can also be called recasting or reformulating your firm's financial statements. Our task of restating our firm's financial statements involves moving around different items, and to do this we will need to understand what each item is. This will help us look carefully at each item in our firm's financial statements and to develop some initial understanding about what each item means to us. And it will prepare our financial statements to be ready for us to analyse them and value our firm by clearly separating the operating and financial activities of our firm. Restate your firm's financial statements based on material covered in Chapter 4, Section 4.2 in the Study Guide. Check out these videos, Restating Your Firm's Income Statement, Running Time 43 Minutes, and Restating Your Firm's Balance Sheet, Running Time 30 Minutes. These videos are available in the video block on the left-hand side of Moodle. They have some great tips on how to restate your firm's financial statements. When restating your firm's financial statements, you can see if you find it a lot easier to do it this time compared to when you did this in Act 11059 Accounting, Learning and Online Communication, and whether you have a better understanding of the different items in your firm's financial statements from your studies of accounting at university. I encourage you to discuss with other students any issues you and they may face in restating your firm's financial statements. Also participate in the Moodle discussion forums and on our unit Facebook page with others in the unit and comment on each other's blogs.